Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Akio Morta Show and this is my first video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. In today's video, I would be talking about everything you need to know about the PTDF scholarship. So before I continue, please do well to like, share, subscribe and comment on this video so that the video can get more traction and then reach out to as many people as possible. So as a way of introduction, I am Akinyo Mortishore. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria and I'm currently a PTDF scholar. I'm currently studying my master's degree in finance program at Stracklight Business School, University of Stracklight in Glasgow, United Kingdom. PTDF stands for Petroleum Technology Development Fund, and it's a federal government agency with an objective of training professionals for the oil and gas industry. Now, one of the activities they do to help them achieve the objective is to award scholarships to qualified Nigerians who are interested in studying courses related to the oil and gas industry, or courses that can prefer solutions to the issues plaguing the oil and gas industry. There are two types of the PTDF scholarship. We have the in-country scholarship and we have the overseas scholarship. For the in-country scholarship, PTDF awards qualified Nigerians to study their postgraduate degrees, master's degree and PhD in Nigerian universities. For the overseas scholarship, which this video would focus on, PTDF awards um, suitable candidates to study their postgraduate degrees, that's the master's degree or PhD abroad. Now, there are four countries where you can study, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and Malaysia. So why should you apply for the PTDF scholarship, right? Number one is that it is one of the most um, generous scholarships available to Nigerians who are looking to study abroad, right? To put things in proper perspective, all right, the PTDF scholarship board awarded 237 master's scholarship and 154 PhD scholarships to Nigerians, right? And what that means is that you have an higher chance of getting that scholarship. Number two is that um, it's a fully funded scholarship. So all your tuition fee, your stipends will be taken care of by the body, right? Your traveling arrangements, your visa application, your flight ticket would, would also be paid by PTDF. Number three reason why you should apply for the PTDF scholarship is that it's one of the highest paid um, stipend scholarship that anybody can get. I know for some scholarship, they discriminate between the area you're living in. So if you're living in London, for example, you get more stipend than if you're living out of London. But for PTDF scholarship, you get the same stipend regardless of your location, which is actually very good. Number four reason is that, yes, it's an oil and gas based scholarship. However, you can apply regardless of the course you're studying. All you need to do is to establish a link between the course you want to study and the issues it's um, looking to address in the oil and gas industry. Once you can establish that, you're good to go for the PTDF scholarship. Another reason why you should apply for the PTDF scholarship is that it is entirely based on merits, right? Now, you must understand that the PTDF scholarship is a point-based system. What that means is that someone who has got a first class has an higher chance of getting the scholarship than someone who has a second class upper or a second class lower. Someone who has written a publication in different journal, all right, has an higher chance of getting the scholarship than someone who has not written a publication. Someone who has got distinction in his or her own level, right, has an higher chance of getting the scholarship than someone who has just credits in his or her own level. So for the selection process, there's just about two stages really. Um, the first stage is after you're done submitting um, your application, there's an initial screening and that's where a lot of people actually get disqualified. All right. If you don't follow the instructions, if you don't submit the right document, you're actually not going to move to the next stage. Right. So please ensure you submit the right documents ensure you are qualified for the scholarship before applying. If not, you'll be disqualified at this stage. The second stage is going to be the interview. 
and this is the stage where you get to meet with um, interviewers who are um, academic lecturers and professors in different schools. Now, I, I can't say exactly how this stage would look like because during my time, I did a physical interview in Ibadan. And I know that um, some other persons actually did an online interview when COVID happened. So there's a possibility that it might be an online interview. There's a possibility that it might be a physical interview. I can't say. However, it's um, likely for you to do an interview at this stage. Now, at this stage, all you need to do is to bring all your original documents. Um, the interviewers would actually check the document and they would ask you a couple of questions. All right. Why the PTDF scholarship? Why are you choosing this course? Why are you choosing this school, this country? and all of that and finally you must be able to prove to them that you're a really good fit for the scholarship either based on your industry experience or the kind of publications you've written in different journals and afterwards the final stage would then be the announcement of scholars who have been awarded the scholarship there are different requirements for the master's degree and phd program for the master's degree program you must have a minimum of second class upper right which is 2-1 now if you don't have a second class upper and what you have is a second class lower you can still apply all you need to do is to show that you have a relevant industry experience on your cv right number two is that you must have completed the mandatory um, nysc program now you should have your nysc um, discharge certificate or your nysc exemption certificate either of those certificates will be fine number three is that you must be computer literate number four you must possess your five O level credits, including English and mathematics. Number five is that you must have your statement of purpose, which is a maximum of 500 words. Now, if you need anybody to review your SOP, all you need to do is to send me an email with your SOP at akin.omoteshaw at gmail.com. Akin.omoteshaw at gmail.com. And I'm going to respond um, with my comments. And then finally is that you must have your national identity number Right now, you would have to verify your NIN before you even have the chance to apply for the scholarship. For the PhD requirements, all right, um, you must have also completed your NYSC. Number two is that you must be computer literate. Um, you must have a minimum of second class lower, all right. However, you must have a very strong master's degree results. You must also have a research topic, all right, that is relevant to the oil and gas industry, not more than five pages. And then you must be able to prove that you're not in possession of any other scholarship and as well as you having your NIN. So what are the documents you need when you want to apply for the PTDF scholarship? Number one is that you must have your first degree certificate or your statement of results or transcripts, whichever one is available. Number two is that you must have your NYSC certificates as well. Number three, you must have all level certificates. However, you must attach um, your scratch card to the certificate so that PTDF can view your results. All right, number four is that you must have your passport photograph. Number five, you must have your local government um, identification letter. Now, if you don't have this readily available, there are two options for you. Either you go back to your local government and get the certificate, or if you're out of town, I believe there should be liaison office in that state you're in. You can go to that liaison office and get um, an identification letter. Number five is that you must have your master's degree certificate. That's if you're applying for PhD. And then you must also have evidence of membership or professional um, association, ICANN, ACCA, whichever certificate you have, you should have them readily available as well. So as a PTDF scholar, what kind of advice would you give to a prospective applicant? Number one, I would say be flexible. Be flexible in terms of the country you're going to and in terms of the universities you're applying to. Now, the truth is, after you've gotten your PTDF scholarship, depending on situations, you might have significant delays in terms of visa application process or flight booking. If you don't have a flexible start date, what that means is that the next time you'll be able to resume school, would be the September of the following year. Now, you know most schools actually start in September, right? If you have a flexible start date, depending on your school, some schools have a January start date, some schools have a May, April, June, depending, right? What that means is that you can start before September the following year. But if your school does not have a flexible start date, 
really. It means that you'd have to start September the following year. So I'd encourage you to do a lot of research before choosing school and before choosing the country you'd like to go to. Ensure that they have a flexible start date so that you don't you don't um, have um, very significant delays in your resumption date. So number two advice I would give is that start sending your school applications, right? Once you've decided that you want to apply for the PTDF scholarship, start sending your applications to the different schools in your country. Now, I know during your application, there are three schools that you would have to select. Now, that doesn't mean once you've been awarded the scholarship, you can pick any school within the country you've chosen, right? So start applying to as many schools as possible. And you know this is January. For September start dates, depending on the number of intakes, a lot of schools will start closing the application. So now when I say apply to schools, different schools in your country, I mean apply to different approved schools. Right? There are a list of schools that have been approved by the PTDF scholarship board. Now, if you apply to other schools, you would not be awarded the scholarship. So please do well to apply to only approved schools. And there are a lot of them. You have a range of options, really. Now, there are some schools that actually take application fees, right? What you can do is to send an email to their African body. Just do your research and then send an email requesting for a fee waiver. Another advice I would like to give is that in the process of you applying, if your course is not part of the drop-down menu, you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do is to pick something that is very close to what you want. And I'll give you a typical example. When I was applying for the PTDF scholarship, I wanted masters in finance. But there was no school, there was no course like that. The closest I saw was a master's degree in oil and gas accounting and finance at Robert Gordon University. Now, I didn't want that really because I felt like that was going to limit my career choices really. So I still picked it. After I was awarded the scholarship, I then changed to master's degree in finance. So if your course is not part of it, don't worry about it. Still choose the one that is very close. And when you have gotten the scholarship, you can then change to whichever course you want. So my final advice would then be that um, you should apply as soon as possible. The deadline for the scholarship is 28th of January, 2022. So please do well to submit your application before then. If you need someone to review your application before submitting, you can send me an email at akin.omotashow at gmail.com akin.amatashow.gmail.com and we can run through the application together before you submit. Again, I wish you the very best as you're applying for your scholarship and I hope that you're selected. Thank you very much for watching.